Have you ever wondered what Russia's most terrifying weapon could be? When we think about dangerous armaments, our minds often leap to colossal nuclear warheads or stealthy futuristic fighter jets. We imagine technology so advanced it's almost alien, or power so vast and destructive that it's hard to comprehend. But sometimes, the most fearsome weapons aren't what we expect at all. They're not always the biggest or the loudest or the most visually impressive. If you're thinking of nuclear missiles or stealth fighters, you're in for a surprise. Meet the perimeter, also known as dead hand. This isn't your everyday piece of machinery. It's an automatic system that once triggered is designed to launch nuclear counterattacks. A chilling thought, isn't it? Born out of the tension and uncertainty of the Cold War, the perimeter was Russia's answer to the looming threat of nuclear warfare. As the world tiptoed on the edge of nuclear annihilation, the perimeter was conceived as a failsafe, a final line of defense. Imagine a system so sophisticated that it could retaliate even in the event of a total command failure. The perimeter was designed to do just that. It's an embodiment of the doctrine of assured destruction. If you strike us, we will strike back no matter what. Now you might be wondering with a name like Dead Hand, just how does this chilling device work? The inception of the perimeter dates back to the Cold War. A period of intense rivalry between two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union. During this time, the threat of nuclear warfare loomed large, and the need for a fail-safe retaliation system was more pressing than ever. The idea for the perimeter, also known as the Dead Hand, was conceived in the late 70s. Its intended purpose? To provide a guaranteed and automated response to a nuclear strike, even in the absence of human command. The perimeter was designed to ensure that any nuclear attack on Russia would not go unanswered. In the game of nuclear warfare, the perimeter was Russia's ultimate poker chip. In the early 80s, work began on the perimeter system. It was shrouded in secrecy, hidden from the prying eyes of the world. The system was intricate, designed to detect seismic activity and radiation levels, essentially acting as the country's pulse monitor. If it detected signs of a nuclear attack, the perimeter could launch a counter-strike automatically. By the mid-80s, the perimeter was operational. However, its existence was kept under wraps, known only to a small circle of high-ranking military officials. This secrecy was maintained even as the Cold War ended and the world stepped back from the brink of nuclear annihilation. In the post-Cold War era, the perimeter continued to evolve. It was updated and modernized to keep up with technological advancements and changing geopolitical dynamics. Despite the reduced threat of nuclear warfare, the perimeter remained a crucial part of Russia's defense strategy, a silent guardian ready to spring into action if needed. The perimeter's development is a testament to the lengths nations will go to protect their sovereignty. It's a chilling reminder of the Cold War's paranoia and the ever-present nuclear threat, but it's also an example of human ingenuity, our ability to create complex systems in response to complex threats. And that's how the perimeter came into existence. A system born out of fear and necessity, evolving with the times, standing as a silent sentinel ready to defend, ready to retaliate. A system that, even today, remains one of Russia's most formidable and fearsome weapons. Now, let's delve into the functionality of this ominous device. The perimeter, often referred to as Russia's doomsday machine, operates in a manner that is as intriguing as it is terrifying. Firstly, it's important to understand that this system isn't designed to start a war, but rather, to end one. It's a retaliatory measure, strictly reserved for the direst of circumstances. The perimeter is a failsafe, a last resort when all other systems have failed. The perimeter is essentially a system of sensors spread across Russia designed to detect signs of a nuclear attack. These sensors are capable of detecting seismic activity, radiation levels, and overpressure, all telltale signs of a nuclear explosion. Let's consider the seismic detection system. When a nuclear bomb detonates, it releases an enormous amount of energy, causing the ground to shake. This seismic activity is picked up by the perimeter's sensors, which are sensitive enough to differentiate between a nuclear explosion and a natural earthquake. The radiation sensors, on the other hand, monitor the levels of radiation in the atmosphere. A sudden spike in radiation levels would be indicative of a nuclear blast. Similarly, the overpressure sensors detect the shock wave generated by a nuclear explosion. Once these sensors are triggered, the perimeter springs into action. It's important to note that the perimeter is a fully automated system. There's no human intervention required after the initial setup. 
This is a key feature of the perimeter, as it ensures that a counterattack can be launched even if the entire command structure has been obliterated. The perimeter then takes control of the country's missile arsenal, automatically launching a counterattack. This automatic launch of missiles is what gives the perimeter its terrifying reputation. It ensures that anyone considering launching a nuclear attack on Russia would have to consider the inevitable and devastating counterattack. The perimeter, therefore, guarantees a retaliatory strike even if the entire command structure is wiped out. It's a chilling reminder of the destructive power of nuclear weapons and the lengths to which nations will go to protect themselves. Although it's a defensive system, the perimeter carries some grave implications. Let's start by examining the prospect of an accidental launch. The perimeter system, also known as Dead Hand, is designed to fire nuclear weapons automatically if certain conditions are met, such as a sudden increase in radiation levels or seismic activity. While this automation is intended to ensure a retaliatory strike even if human operators are incapacitated, it also raises the risk of a false positive, a non-nuclear event triggering the system. Imagine a major earthquake or a radiation leak being mistaken for a nuclear attack. The consequences would be catastrophic. Moving on to the ethical questions, the perimeter system represents a chilling departure from the principle of human control over weapons of mass destruction. The idea of machines making life or death decisions, especially ones involving nuclear weapons, is deeply unsettling. It challenges our fundamental beliefs about warfare, responsibility, and the value of human judgment. Lastly, let's talk about how the perimeter impacts global nuclear deterrence. Traditionally, the threat of mutually assured destruction, or MAD, has been a key factor in preventing nuclear war. Each side knows that launching an attack would result in their own destruction, creating a stalemate. But the perimeter changes this equation, because it guarantees Russia's ability to retaliate, even if its command structure is wiped out, it theoretically makes a first strike more tempting for potential adversaries. This could destabilize the delicate balance of nuclear deterrence and increase the risk of conflict. In essence, the perimeter embodies a paradox. It's a defensive system designed to prevent attack, yet its very existence could provoke the very catastrophe it's meant to deter. This is a chilling testament to the complexities and contradictions of nuclear strategy. So, while the perimeter may be a marvel of engineering, and a testament to human ingenuity, it also poses profound questions about the ethics of automated warfare and the future of global security. It's a weapon that's as much about psychology as it is about firepower. So, what have we learned about Russia's most scary weapon? Well, we've delved into the murky depths of the Cold War era, tracing the development of one of Russia's most terrifying creations, the Perimeter, also known as the Dead Hand. This was a system born out of a time of intense tension and fear, a manifestation of the desperate measures nations were willing to take to ensure their own survival. We've learned that the perimeter was developed as a fail-safe mechanism, a last resort in the event of a nuclear strike. Its purpose? To automatically launch a retaliatory strike, even if the command centers were destroyed and the nation's leaders were no longer alive to give the order. This autonomous system was designed to act as a deterrent, a grim assurance that any attack on Russian soil would be met with devastating consequences. We've also explored the functionality of the perimeter, a system shrouded in mystery and secrecy. It operates on a network of seismic radiation and overpressure sensors spread across the nation. In the event of a nuclear strike, these sensors are triggered, activating the system. The perimeter then sends a launch command to the missile silos, ensuring a retaliatory response. But what does this mean for us today? The implications of the perimeter are far-reaching and thought-provoking. It raises questions about the morality and legality of such a system. On one hand, it acts as a deterrent, possibly preventing a devastating nuclear war. On the other hand, it takes the decision of launching a nuclear strike out of human hands, which is a terrifying thought. Moreover, the existence of the perimeter forces us to confront the harsh realities of our history and the lengths that nations are willing to go to in the name of self-preservation. It's a stark reminder of the power of fear and the potential for destruction that it can unleash. Even though the perimeter is a relic of the Cold War, it's still operational today, maintaining its eerie silence under the vast Russian landscape. This chilling piece of history continues to serve as a testament to the time of fear and mistrust that once gripped the world. 
While the perimeter is a relic of the Cold War, it's a chilling reminder of the lengths nations will go to ensure their survival.